So here we are again for one of Cliff's infrequent uh, ship guides. This time we're on the Sapphire Princess on a uh, three-day cruise, 6th of October, out of Southampton. Was due to go to St. Peterport in Guernsey and then on to Cherbourg, but weather meant we had to go to Brest, which actually turned out to be brilliant. Uh, so the cabin I'm going to show you today is C753, which as you can see is in a very quiet corner, at the very back corner of Deck 10. Um, this time for this video I remember to bring my key card so I can actually get in. Uh, so in we go. Now it's just a sort of standard uh, room with a balcony so um, I mean it's not immense but it, it's practical. Um, it's a nice big bed. Once again it's a brilliant bed. Uh, lovely firm mattress. Pillows, we got sort of mixed feelings about the pillows. They're, there's a couple of them are, are good sort of solid pillows and a couple are a bit soggy so Whoever gets the good ones uh, gets a good night's sleep, and whoever gets the dodgy ones uh, has to do something to try and prop their head up. So um, you might want to explore options for getting other pillows if you find that to be the case. Um, so, yeah, as I say, just standard facilities. One thing to point out, which a lot of people think is quite important, a kettle. Yeah, so if you want to bring your own coffee, tea, you can do it here. Um, we brought whiskey so we could do hot whiskies. Um, that's up to you. Um, yeah, and there's a fridge down at the bottom here. Now for this for cruise, because there's no minibar in there, um, they just left it switched off. So I don't know, you might be able to ask the steward to come in and uh, turn it on if you want to keep like your own wine or something uh, chilled. Um, right, so oh, another thing to mention about are the electrics. So these are the type of electric socket here, i.e. American sockets. And don't make the mistake I did of having been caught before. I bought uh, any number of adapters, but the Euro adapters, wrong. So luckily I've got one which does have the American pins. Uh, so you want to be sure you've got those. Now you need to bring your own USB charger or whatever you're going to use to charge your USB devices. So some of the ships now have USB points, um, but this one doesn't appear to have. Um, it's just possible around the back of the telly, if you can get in there, there may be USB sockets that you plug into there. But I wouldn't rely on that, so bring your own USB charger. Um, now just one point to make while we're here, um, th these rooms have recently been refurbished, in fact this whole big telly, that's a new fitting, um, but one thing that's clearly not new is this lamp, just look at the uh, how well worn the base of that lamp is, that's not actually what's wrong with that lamp, what's really wrong with it is this cabinet is uh, right over some part beneath us where that vibrates quite a lot when the engines are running and this lamp rattles uh, yeah a noise like that and it does it through the night so <laughs> what we found ourselves doing was piling about four magazines and two books on top of that just to keep it pushed down so it wouldn't make the noise but that, that lamp really needs looking at so uh, I'll just go back round. Oh, useful table here. Now there's two chairs, a nice big armchair and a smaller chair, but they're both very practical and usable. With the table, great for having your uh, breakfast brought into the room. Um, and, oh yeah, the uh, breakfast menu is over here. So I don't know if you can see the detail on that, but basically you can get most things. That, and there's even... Um, Egg, egg, bacon and cheese breakfast muffin. I've had that a few times and they're actually quite good. Um, so that's that. So if we just go back round, just a look at the facilities. Um, obviously the lights near the door. <coughs> There's my fat self. Yeah, a load of wardrobe space. And look at all these hangers. In fact, there's so many hangers, don't you see it? But we've got tons more hangers on the floor. I mean, it, even if you were here for two weeks, there'd be more than enough hangers. Now, it took us a while to spot this, but this is a door, right? And there's more storage space in here. What's more, you've got your safe here. Um, and it's the usual four-digit thing. And then you turn that to open it. There's your two life jackets at the top there. Uh, so, so don't miss out on that wardrobe. So this is the bathroom. Um, so as always on these ships, it, compact and bijou. Um, it's a bit dated looking and... Look at this, a shower curtain. There is no 
glass door or uh, any kind of sort of well modern thing is this awful curtain and actually this morning it, not my fault but it was actually just slightly out and this whole floor flooded so it's not the best design also one thing I don't like is the fact it, it's not a detachable share head and it's quite difficult to say that and then it does but it's quite difficult to adjust that to the uh, direction you want it um, water control, heat control, you can, it, get, it can get very hot so uh, you'd want to make sure, you, like it says up here, uh, you, you want to be sure you test the water before you get in. Um, but yeah, this this is something from the past, this curtain, this could do with going. Um, I think that's all I've got to say about that. Um, so I'll just pop out to the balcony and show you the best bit. Um, so just walking out here. Did you spot how that door just magically opened itself? It's clever stuff, isn't it? I don't know how that happened. Uh, so out we go onto the balcony, and um, this for a sort of normal uh, dual cabin is actually quite an amazing balcony. I mean, it's big enough to have these lounges could be let out full length and even got footstools for both of them. Great table, and you've got this curved uh, rail here, so not only you've got the view. The wonderful view out to the wake behind us. This is Cherbourg, by the way. Um, but you've you can actually look out sideways. So, um, like when we're manoeuvring or underway, you've got view both sideways and backwards. Um, and it's very well sort of. Uh, it's not like you're overlooked from above, and you you equally cannot see anyone down below because the uh, back of the ship is raked inwards. So it's a really nice design at the back of this ship. And like I say, just the size of this balcony for a room of this uh, type is pretty incredible. So I think that's probably going to cover it. Um, oh, I will we'll just mention the telly system because they have refurbished these uh, cabins and now it's got this quite sort of whizzy, uh, at the moment I'm on the sh channel that shows the view out of the webcam at the front of the ship. But uh, if I just go back, you see for broadcast channels you've got some reasonably good ones, I mean Sky and uh, BBC and <coughs> if I go back over here you've got these on-demand systems so under movies I wonder if it's going to show, oh it does show the icons this time so um, there's some pretty reasonable fairly up-to-date movies in here um, I'll just go through to uh, these ones, Princess Picks because these are the, the obviously their sort of favourite selection of films and uh, there's some, some reasonably good things to watch in there. Um, oh, under drama, if I just go down, uh, one more. There's, uh, yeah, we go across. One we've just been watching, it, it was actually, it's well worth a, a watch, is, uh, there it is. Oh, they haven't shown the icon. But anyway, three billboards. And it's a pretty good film. And that just gives you an idea of the kind of class of uh, film to expect here. So if I just go back out of this. Um, it's got several facilities here. So, um, like I say, live TV, there's music channels, sort of effectively radio channels, applications. So there's one that will show us exactly where we are when it loads up. So, and you can zoom in. So we're in Cherbourg. And that shows the journey that we've just undertaken. So next one is from three back to four. So we're going back to Southampton overnight. Um, and that's it. So uh, pretty good tally system, uh, a really good room and a great balcony for a room this size. So well worth it. Nice quiet corner. Um, but the only thing that's irritated is, is the lamp. The pillows have been a bit questionable. But other than that, it's been great. Oh, and one final PS, someone just reminded me. Um, bathrobes, you don't get bathrobes as standard in here, but you can just phone up and ask. Um, very helpful room guy. If you just phone up and just say uh, you like bathrobes, then he'll deliver them to you uh, for the following morning. And uh, there are your princess bathrobes. Um, as always, they're not exactly designed for the biggest people in the world, so uh, they're stretching it, but... Uh, <laughs> On the whole, they're quite good. We did ask for slippers, they didn't have slippers available, although a video I've seen previously suggests that you might be able to ask for slippers. So uh, I think I'll call it a day there. 
typo and just another th thing to add that I've thought of uh, is about room service. It's actually it's in the book, but it's buried right in the middle pages here. But this uh, I don't know if you're about to see it on the video here. I'll just give you a lingering look. Um, but there's actually a pretty good um, selection of things there, and. Um, the tuna sandwich we highly recommend. I thought the uh, hot dogs are really good. Uh, they really like American hot dogs. Um, oh, the croc monsieur is pretty good. You, uh, that's very small meal if you do order it, so maybe get some fries with it or something. Um, the chocolate cake is to die for, so order as many slices as you can think of for that chocolate fudge cake. And all this room service is free, so actually you can really have a meal here in the room, um, have it on your balcony with your table, have it in your own privacy, no having to go off to the dining rooms because uh, the selection of restaurants is fairly limited. So uh, well worth thinking about that. Okay, that's it.